Serene Beckers, costume designer in the Netherlands, and uh, he showed me his dream costumes he made in Bali. In Bali he made costumes who are unaffordable in, to make them in the West, but he made them that small. <laughs> and he asked me, Alex, can you do something with that? And I said, hey guy, you have to make them bigger because nobody will fit in those costumes. So how do you see that? But they are really great costumes. And Balinese people are working at least one month, two months on one costume. So I thought, and then, then he protested, and I said, yeah, well, Balinese children will fit in those costumes, definitely. They are smaller than Western uh, children, so I said, yes, okay, but it's going to be a little bit strange, Balinese children in Shakespeare costumes, but on the other hand, unknown. So it kept on bugging my mind, and then I learned that Balinese children are raised to dance and perform at an early age. They start dancing when they are four years old and they, it's part of the culture. They dance and what are they dancing and performing? They dance to Ramayana. That's a love story. A love story between Sita and Rama. And so, like all love stories, it's about love, betrayal, murder, slaughter and children love that. They love to kill and do all that kind of stuff. So I was thinking, okay, we have the Ramayana, we have Shakespeare costumes, and we have very talented girls and boys to play that, but what are they going to play? Then I was thinking, I know another love story, Shakespeare's Othello, and that's the same thing, love, hate, betrayal, killing, and so a project was born, and I started writing a new story based on both stories, and since Children are the future, I thought it would be nice that this story is going to take place in the future. But since both stories are historical, I thought I'd make a design of a retro science fiction with all items from West and East mixed together. And then I, I called Rena and said, I have an idea, we're going to make a new story it's called the, the Epic, played by children. And Green was already bored by the fact that he was using the same costumes and he said, okay, I'm going to make brand new costumes. And so we started the dialogue talking about the characters and what the, the meaning of colors and what the costume would be like. And Green started designing. <laughs> I developed some costumes with all kind of different uh, elements in it from the east and from the west. For instance, this pant is uh, based on uh, a Khmer pants from uh, uh, Cambodia. It's one piece of fabric which we can plie and fold till, uh, till it becomes a pants. And that will be... Uh, uh, actually, this is for all the characters I made the same pants, but in different materials and in different colors in a combination with uh, a different top and different hats. introduced to Powanto, he's a dancer, choreographer and coach for the children and we were looking for somebody who could help me with the casting of the children for the, the story of the epic. So we organized a casting one day and I had to choose out 35 fabulous children, I could use them all. <laughs> they, they are so focused, so concentrated. They are trained to perform and dance at an early age, they start at when they are four. 
He's dancing with the children, so it's more a physical interaction you see that takes place. And that learned me to how to direct his children, just being with them and playing with them and making fun with them. And then with the right point, we take the pictures. For Alex's uh, project, is, uh, there is a like a visual, two-dimensional visual, big, uh, big image, yeah. which is inside of the, the image. Uh, there are a lot of figures, mostly kids, yeah? And it's my job is to make that image. It has to be more bright on the right side. Yeah. I just made this test for this picture, yeah. but uh, uh, this yeah. is what I'm thinking yeah. of. Okay. Yeah. You can make it. You can make it? Yeah, I can make it. If you can make it, I can make it. <laughs> cool you. <laughs> cool you. So. so, what do you think about the background? Shall I make it dark or keep it this way? I think keep it this way. But I will make uh, the photographs more uh, like in the shadow, but mm -hmm. still bright, like this. I think we put the monkeys, uh, yeah, put the, the monkeys gangster, over gangsters over here, the monkey gangsters. This one here, uh, we keep it. But, but the clothes like this, yeah. The costume will be like this, right? It's exactly the same costume, but he had no sleeve here, so I uh, okay. I, I tricked it on that one mm -hmm. and changed it a little bit. So the background is like uh, is uh, somewhere in other world, not today, not like this uh, these days, but it's like like a virtual world. Yeah, but the, the most difficult is uh, it's about not only to to set up the lighting. The lighting is only to make light shapers, yeah? This is light shapers, everything's like softbox and blah, blah, blah. But it's, uh, the most difficult is how to shaping that lights into the characters, yeah? And every character has a very unique, yeah, like jealousy, like anger, like painful. <laughs> And this, this one, we take this one too. This one, one. Yeah, just laugh. No, 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 no. Yes. Strong face. Strong, strong face. Yes. Okay. And lovely face. Lovely face. Okay. Yes. And then the teeth. Smile, 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 smile. Yes, that's the one we got. Yes, 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 take this, take, take, take this one. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. A little bit higher, higher, higher. Yeah. Okay, got it. Uh, yes. <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, open mouth. Yeah. <laughs> one more, one more. Get a hug. Get a hug. Yes. And we have to direct as well the talent, the the characters, the into the the eyes and everything, where we put the, the reflection of the light into their eyes and everything. <laughs> Touching the hair. No, you don't. No. Yeah, make me lower. And maybe... Lower. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's better. But a little bit higher, yes, yes. Okay, yeah, good. Good. Yeah. Oh, nice. This is yeah. Cross, cross, cross. Yeah. Stretch. Yeah. Yeah. Lagi. Satu, dua, tiga. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> But the angle is perfect. The angle is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, sekarang. No, 
or he's should take me in here. <laughs> Just do it slow. Do it slow. <laughs> Shakespearean plays, or even things like the Odyssey and the Iliad, they're stories within stories within stories. And particularly something in Mahabharata or Ramayana, they're, they're children's stories, they're deep religious philosophical teaching texts, they have bits of historical fact in them, some of them are more mythology than truth, but they contain religious and spiritual truths. So I think the stories really lend themselves to all of those layers being explored. But what's interesting to me is that you don't synthesize them into one kind of generic global Esperanto. The, the, the language is different. Things that are pure sound, just things that you record, of the insects, of the birds, of the, the forest, things that are almost artificial because they're so cinematic. But then the next being very natural and you recognize it as something traditional. And all the, so it's the icons of the images and the symbols and the connections that are put into a kind of theater that's both image, sound, and the full experience of what the audience brings to it. And I mean this in a very literal way, not just an interpretation, but they also have their own conditioning, their own association, their own language, their own land, their own culture. And if I play a certain sequence or we use certain sounds, some people have a direct association with it, some people have no association with it. And that whole experience, I think, becomes an epic. She, she needs to be different. She's okay. of the project The Epic. It's a digital book and it contains 32 pictures and each picture has a piece of text and a piece of music, a music score. And you as a reader can make choices. You can navigate yourself through the story by choosing certain pictures. Since they are digital, we're looking for a way how to create it more, to make the pictures more alive. And so we're using here 2.5D, that means that we use the layers moving around and giving the suggestion that this is 3D. Mo, Mo is working on this, is, is processing the pictures into a flat image, into a 2.5D image. Around and, and, dust. and dust. And the and shadows. Yes. Yeah, because when they feel, well, you take the shadow, you make them bigger, the closer they get to the floor, right? Yeah. And now, yeah, yeah, look at this fire, it looks great. Okay. One more, one more? One more like this, yeah? Yeah, one more. And smile, let's smile. Smile, let's smile, let's smile, yeah? Ah, Let's no, practice no, a smile. No, smile, no. smile. I want to see a little bit of cheese. Kelihatan giginya dikit. Ah, iya, 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 iya. Loncat, ya, satu, dua, tiga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think we got it now. 
Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Yay. At the moment, we are showing the pictures at the Tony Raka Gallery, or I would call it a museum, actually. It's so big. It's like Chelsea, New York style. Um, we, sh we, sh we show here all the, the photographs, all the 32 big ones, small ones, as a collage on that wall. wall. And we're finalizing, after three and a half years in the making, uh, the epic. And the next step is the iBook, the, the digital book, the web book, or whatever you want to call it. We were looking for uh, a book had a, that carries all the possibilities for your imagination. You just open the chapters. And then you have the possibility to read the story or have a voiceover telling you the story. And you can focus on the image. I had built an observatory between the years 1727 and 1734. This comprised a collection of structures that made it possible to make precise astronomical measurements. Thank you. 